Hello mechanics, and welcome to Rock, Paper, Scattergun. Now, this is a series I've created today to show off the intricacies between TF2 characters and their interactions. Now, it is going to be in a Rock, Paper, Scissors style based on, you know, a basic skill level. You know, say somebody picks up the game and they know how to play Scout, basically not advanced Scout stuff, not everybody's Platinum player. Just normal stuff. We're going to base our efforts and our observations off of that off of the average scout player versus the average player for everyone else. So, starting off, the scout is, you know, everybody knows him. He can double jump, he's the fastest character in TF2 aside from a charging demo knight, but that's not the point here. Um, wait, hold up, what? Okay, yeah, sure. Give me one second. Alright, yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm taking over, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm good against. Freaking everything. Yeah, that's right, Scout, number one, put a check mark next to my name, we're done. Get out of here. Don't even need the B-roll footage he shot, like, we're done. I freaking win. Alright, yeah, you wanna get back on the thing? Okay, yeah. I win, guys, I freaking win. Every time. There's no way they can beat me. Alright, yes, uh... Thank you, Scout. Anyway, where we were and uh, where I was at is that the Scout is strong against characters without hitscan weapons and without overbearing range. The Scout excels against things like NGs without their sentry guns, demo men, soldiers, and of course the rogue spy and medic who don't have very effective ways of defending themselves and at an average skill level will falter in comparison. Now scout absolutely gets owned in most cases by the heavy, by the sentry gun of the engineer, by other scouts, and by pyros. Now why pyro? Pyro is an ambush class and seeing somebody with an average skill level and playing pyro would pretty much go like this. Scout hides around a corner, Pyro is on the other side of the corner, but Scout doesn't know it. Scout runs forward, Pyro does fire, and death. I completely left out the sniper, but the sniper and the Scout have a love-hate relationship. An average sniper will be able to headshot a Scout, although if the Scout is utilizing, utilizing his full set of tools in a semi-normal way, he'll be able to flank around and perhaps get the drop on the sniper. It also depends on the Scout's loadout. Say the Sandman-Cleaver combo can rip a sniper apart in .5 seconds, Whereas if he's running his standard Mad Milk or, you know, say, the scatter gun and some not very long range weaponry, the sniper has a distinct advantage over him. So, the rock paper scatter gun of this is Scout. Strong against Soldier, Demo Man, Medic, Spy, and a sentry gunless engineer. Weak against Heavy, other Scout, Pyro, Sentry Gun, and Neutral towards Sniper. That has been rock, paper, wait, what are you? All right, uh, yeah, don't forget, guys. I'm the freaking best. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be doing the outro now since he's uh, on the ground trying to figure out what the hell just happened. <laughs> so, you leave a freaking like. You don't even you don't even have to leave a like if you liked it. You just like it right there. Go click on the like button. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the share button. Do everything, man. I am freaking gold. And those dogs are freaking annoying. But yeah. See you on the next video. Get out of here.